Hey, and welcome back to Dan the Flavor Guy. Today, we're going to be figuring out if you can really bake with a waffle iron. I have three pre-made desserts that we're going to cook up. We've got the pumpkin sugar cookies. We have the Nestle Toll House chocolate chip cookies. And of course, we got the cinnamon rolls. Now, I've done the cinnamon rolls in the past. I've never made a video, but my wife had mentioned it to me that she's seen some, a video on how to make these in a waffle iron. And to be honest with you, they're amazing. When we go camping, it's easy, it's quick, and it's quick cleanup. So let's get started. All right, since we've done cinnamon rolls in the past, we're gonna go ahead and start with those because I know that they will actually bake in here. Make sure you have some sort of spray to spray down your waffle iron to make it so it's easy to peel apart. Go ahead and pop these open. Let's get a little dangerous. Maybe not. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, here we go. We got it started. Okay, now that we have it open, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna put them right in the center. Go ahead and knock out two of them. Close it, and on my waffle iron, there's no timer, there's no preset heat. It's just going at whatever temperature it is. It has a red light and a green light. When that green light turns on, it's letting me know it's done. I like to take the icing while the first batch is cooking, put it in the microwave for about 20 seconds to liquefy it just a little bit so it can pour right over the top. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. All right, so the light has already went off. We're gonna pop it open. It literally took less than 40 seconds to get our first two waffles done. Of course, again, make sure you hit it with spray. We don't want anything to stick. Pop in our next two. And then we're off to the race. All right, so we're almost done cooking them all. Like I said before, literally it takes about 30 to 40 seconds to cook two of these. If you have a dual waffle iron like I do, you can cook two at once. I've seen the little circle ones that cook one at a time. It takes a little bit longer, but this is nice because it does two at a time. And when you have a container of eight, it only takes total time to cook eight, it's four minutes. This is a super quick, super easy, treat for your kids. My kids love them and I love having the dual waffle maker side by side. That way you can get through it a lot faster. Next up, we're going to be cooking the sugar cookie. All right, here's our pumpkin sugar cookies. It is that time of year. Pumpkin spice and everything nice is what's going on. I'm kind of a pumpkin fan. I like trying the new things that are coming out. So we're going to give these a shot and see what happens. All right, so we got it out of the package. We're gonna go ahead and spray it down just like we did with the cinnamon rolls. And then after that, we're gonna place one in each and see how long it takes and how they turn out. Here we go. All right, as you can see, these are super tiny on here. I think we could fit more than one cookie, but we're gonna start with just the two and see what happens. Literally, we're not even 10 seconds into it. And this is telling me that the cookies are already done. I find that extremely hard to believe. So I'm gonna get my phone and I'm actually gonna put a timer on it for the next round of cookies. But let's go ahead and pop this open because hey, we're just doing this as an experiment to see what happens. So let's pop it open. It says it's done, let's find out. That is definitely a fail. I don't see that as being edible. Okay, so round one was a hot mess. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try it again. This time we're gonna let it cook a little bit longer before we pop it open. Cause like I said, I've never done cookies in a waffle maker. This was the first time and the first time didn't work out. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this down again. This time I'm gonna put two cookies on each side because I noticed they didn't expand very much. So let's go ahead and give it a shot again. I think the reason why the sugar cookies aren't working out as well as the cinnamon rolls is because the cinnamon rolls have more of a a thicker, doughier texture. Um, these, there's not a lot to them. 
think there's more sugar than there is anything else. But once we're done and it's cooked, I'll get right back with you guys. Stay tuned. Okay, so I waited a total of three minutes for the ones that are in here to see if they've cooked. I can actually smell a cookie cooking smell. So we're gonna pop it open and we're gonna see what it looks like. This is three minutes. Batch number two, epic fail. Just like the first one. I don't think this is gonna work the way we want it to, but hey, that's what we're here to answer is if you can bake with a waffle iron. So far, it depends on what it is. These sugar cookies are not working. So let me clean this mess up and I'll get right back to you. All right, last but not least, experiment number three. The Nestle Toll House cookies have a lot more consistency like our cinnamon rolls did. So I have a feeling, I'm crossing my fingers, hoping that these will cook just as well. Definitely want to make sure you spray this down with the cooking oil because if the chocolate chips, they get burnt, they might make a heck of a mess. All right, so we got a good size cookie dough ball. Drop it in. Don't forget to spray it. All right, we got a good size cookie dough ball. We're gonna drop that one in. We're gonna put one more equal size. And we're gonna let these cook for about two minutes, two to three minutes. Last time the sugar cookies did fine with two minutes, but the problem was is, like I said, the consistency wasn't thick enough. They were falling apart pretty easy. So let's get our timer going. All right, the lights have been on for a little while. It's been going on for two minutes. Let's pop this open and see what happens. All right, so they are definitely cooked, but they are so soft, I'm having a heck of a time getting them out of here. Is it a fail? No, technically it did cook the cookies. But the problem we're having is how the heck to get these things out. A fork is just gonna cause damage to them. I'm gonna try and flip the waffle maker open. Hopefully I don't burn myself, but let's figure it out. Okay, well, hey, that worked. Let's go ahead, pick these up, set them over here. All right, well, we got two done. Let's do some more. Ooh! Okay, so by flipping the waffle maker over, it popped them out nice and easy. I'm gonna let these set and cool. I have another recipe that I wanna use these chocolate chip cookie dough with. So I'm gonna go ahead and save the rest of this. But we got two, let's let them cool and let's see how they taste. 